Hello YouTube, it's Grace again and today I actually have a subscription box to unbox today. Um, I thought I'd treat myself and buy this box which I can't actually remember the name of the service. I feel really bad saying that. And it's not on the outside of the box, is it? Oh, it is. Nerdy Bookworm Box. So, yeah. Never, un never have received this service before and I thought why not give it a go for everybody here so opening the box this is what it looks like i don't know haven't seen it so first things first is owl hoops nerdy woman book box mini magazine issue for october 2016 doppelgangers so the theme is doppelgangers and i don't want to know really anything and i'm not sure if this has spoilers in it or not but yeah it looks like that um, then underneath is tissue paper, so it's very well like wrapped, and I like the little sticker as well. Oh no. Oh no. Oh lord, no. These things. God. Okay, let's just get the first thing which is on top, which is a candle, a scented polyjuice potion. Um, scented candle, hand poured in England. Um, it's William Joseph exclusive for this box okay now polyjuice potion doesn't actually taste nice so i'm wondering if it would sm smell nice but we all know my experience with candles if not go and watch some of my other subscription videos i don't know what to feel about that that's actually all right yeah it's a bit like um faint sort of like citrus i guess and a bit like grass but yeah so that first item is the candle next i see something which looks like socks yeah oh okay so it's out of print the court of monte cristo um socks so we just kind of like take them oh oh my room's gonna be so messy after this And they're basically just socks with um, tally scores on it. But yeah, they're from out of print. Um, yeah. So the second item is the socks. Oh lord, I just don't want to have to lift this. I don't want to lift the worms out. So yeah. Oh, next thing. Tea, Bluebird Tea, co-mixerologist. Enchanted Narnia, Turkish delight brew with magical rose and creamy cocoa. Ingredients, rose buds, cocoa shells, rose petals, lemongrass, raspberry leaves. Warning, this may contain traces of nuts. So we've got a packet of tea. I don't really want to open it because um, I don't drink a lot of tea and I just feel like opening it would just kind of spoil it in a way, but okay. Um, fine, we'll open it. We'll get a whiff, but... Mm. See how it goes. Ooh, okay, can't open the packet now. Oh wait, wait. Mm. I'm not a huge fan of rose as a flavour or as a smell, so I don't know how I feel about this. But it smells alright, so Enchanted Narnia tea is the next item. Um oh Next, we have a little blue package. Something's in the package. <sighs> Sorry, we have a badge and it is of the TARDIS and that's my reaction of just how much I love Doctor Who. So yeah, a TARDIS badge, very happy. Like, okay, breathe. <laughs> Next, um, Rolls and Read. It's okay, this is again a nerdy book um, exclusive. A book that is over 10 years old. Okay. So I'm guessing this is the sort of thing for your TBR, but like without having like a TBR jar, so you'd have something like this. Um, Rolls and Read. So if you roll like a one, then you read a book set in a fantasy world, for example. And yeah. So we have that. Um, is this it? 
Oh, again, I don't want to lift out these worms. Okay, let's do it. We got everything? I think we have, okay. So, this is the book and it's packaged very nicely. I can already see the book, what it is. Um, so if I pull the string, it's again, very packaged very nicely in this box. Um, a plus on packaging. <sighs> but now to remove the string so we can actually get the packet through with the book, which is, again, these cute little stickers. So the book we received is Replica by Lauren Oliver. So it has both the perspectives of Lyra and Gemma. I've heard quite a bit about this book and that it's so um, easy to like, um, it has such a unique way of reading it so you can read it like either from just Gemma's perspective or you can read it from Lyra's perspective or do one chapter to Lyra, one chapter to Gemma, one chapter to Gemma, one chapter to Lyra for example. Um, besides that I don't really know much about what it's about um, but somehow the stories are supposed to weave um, together in some way. And if we look at it naked, it is just a clear black book naked with the word big font replica on it. But the cover itself is beautiful. And this is a very, very thick book. Like, mm, I don't know, I think there's like 200 pages per story, like 300 maybe. But it's a very big book. Um, and yeah, in the package with it, we received this little card with the images for doppelgangers on it and it says quest card experience the magical replica with our exclusive online interactive content go to experience nerdy book okay so basically as you're reading this book i'm guessing you unlock exclusive content um as you're reading it and you i don't know i don't know how it's going to be interactive but somehow it is and then besides that we've got a, a bookmark again with the sort of design on it with nerdy book bookworm box um on the other side so yeah anything else in the box before we do the wrap up all right okay that is it <sighs> i have so much so much stuff came up from that box so i think we can just head straight on to trying to price um price everything so let's start with the candle so candle i'm not a huge fan of the candle but it's small compact it's nice um the scent may suit some people it may not suit other people personally i wouldn't spend more than four pounds on this so we're going to give it four pounds um to be generous so next I think I pulled out the socks, so the socks are out of print, they're very good quality, like um, you can really feel that they're quite thick, they're long, um, probably going to be very comfortable. Um, okay, I think it was writing on there, but um, I think it says three Dantes, three Dantes okay um i don't know if that's a reference to monte cristo or not but yeah um these socks they're a brand i'm not really sure how much you would end up paying for something like these um i would just guess that you're paying something like um five pounds for these so like mm, i haven't really got precedent for this so that's why i'm putting prices i would put so we're at nine pounds. Then there's this badge, Doctor Who. I absolutely love it. It's made of like wood, I think. It's just really, really solid. It's either that or it's a very thick plastic. Um, and there is an Etsy store for this badge called Goodnight Boutique. I'd probably give this badge, um, I'd probably pay something like five pounds for it quite happily since I'm such a Doctor Who fan. So we're at 14, yeah. So next was the tea. 
Um, I don't really drink a lot of tea, so I haven't got a lot of experience of how much I pay for a packet like this. But it seems like rather good um, quality tea. It's not a very huge packet, but it's still quite big. So um, we're going to give it six pounds. So I think we're at twenty pounds now. Um, I didn't check to see if these books were like signed or anything, so let's just have a quick look. I don't think it was, but you never know. And no, it wasn't signed, but um don't know how much I'd pay for this book. Um 15? Because it is a hardback and it's a very thick hardback. So we'll give it um 15. So that takes our total up to 35? Yeah, 35. Um, and then we have this um, little card thing. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't pay a heck of a lot of money for this. So, £2? Like, mm. <sighs> you're lucky if I even pay £2 for it, to be honest. It would be something like a pound, and I'd be and it's all right but yeah so we'll just give it a pound so that's 36 pounds um did i miss anything i mean that's part of the book and then there was this little magazine so if we just have a quick browse through it so it's a welcome nerdy updates about featured book more from the author october book spoilers um Okay, so if we go to page 10 in this and find out everything. So, replica, yep, polyjuice candle, yep, press socks, TARDIS brooch, enchanted Narnia tea, roll and read, um, yep, and then bonus items, quest card and exclusive nerdy bookworm, um, bookmark. So, for the roll and read, um, so let's go to page 17. So get your follow the instructions. Get started with get your number. Find some dice or use a random number generator on your laptop. Check the card. Find corresponding number on the card. Find your next read and then enjoy. So basically, it's a way of simplifying your TBR if you're very unsure of what to read. Um, in this booklet, it also gives you some recommendations of what to read next. So for example, a shadow bright and burning, and metal town, which I did mention in the September book, I think. Like my September most anticipated book releases, or was it October? Something like that. I mentioned it in one of them. Um, and then some featured bookworms as well. So some things. I think some Instagrammers basically, and they featured them in the magazine. Um, and they talked briefly about their suppliers and yeah so yeah basically it's a very flexible handy magazine I guess nothing really more like special to say about it I don't feel so I estimated this box at 36 pounds so I would say that you're either paying between like the value of about 30 to 40 pounds but that is my estimation it depends on how much you um like the items in the box it depends on how much money you'd be willing to pay for things in this box um how much i paid for this box i think i used a coupon code so i can't actually remember how much i paid for this box i think it was something like 25 maybe maybe less than that i'm not sure um but yeah, so I feel as if this box made up for itself, so it made up for itself in its value, although I wasn't a huge fan of the subscription to be honest, like I'm glad I tried it, but it, I don't think it's the subscription for me as a person. Um, I think this would be a great box for some um, guys to try, because none of these items in here are overly feminine. So for example, the badge, for example, isn't overly feminine. So I would really recommend this perhaps to a guy to try. Um, I mean, the socks themselves are a size 9 to 11. 
in shoe size, so that's already very large. Um, like they're, they are a big standard part, um, size of sock. Um, the tee even isn't that girlish, so I would recommend this to a guy to try, but I don't think I will personally try it anytime soon again. Um, but yeah, I'm happy I tried it. So let me know down below what you thought about um, the box. Let me know what your favourite item was. My favourite item was probably definitely the badge since I am a Whovian through and through and I absolutely love Doctor Who. Um, also let me know um, down below what you, um, any other sort of subscription boxes perhaps you may want to see. Because I don't mind um, when I have the money to be able to try and um, buy a box and then review it for you guys because I am doing this for your benefit as well as like my own self discovery. Like, I'm trying to give you what I feel, what my sort of opinions about box these boxes are. So yeah, um, basically let me know all that jazz down below. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry I haven't been consistent in posting um, and filming and just everything. The university is killing me. I currently have a critical commentary which I'm putting off by doing this video <laughs> and I need to write a thousand words essentially for it and yeah, it may not seem like a, like a lot, it probably isn't a lot, but when you're really unmotivated <laughs> to do it, everything else is so much better than doing it. So yeah, so again, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see any other sort of videos that I'll post in the future, and I will see you very, very soon. So, goodbye!